Hey guys, Tyboy here, and once again, welcome to another vlog, and like I always say in every vlog, I haven't done one in a while! I should really be at vlog number 60, but I believe this is vlog number 6, I have to check after this video, so the, the title will be correct, just at the time of this recording, I don't remember. But anyways, I... It's been a week, basically, since E3, and it's almost been a week since I came back, and um, it was quite interesting, and one of the topics I want to talk about in this vlog or whatever you want to call this kind of video, is uh, the fan passes. You know, I went. To, I was lucky lucky enough to make it to E3 last year, arguably the last year of where press, where, like, all, only press could attend um, E3. I mean, they had E3 Live and stuff, and plus the fan fest, which was only, like, 500 people. But this year, they let 15,000 fans go because... Because the, the number of media and press going to E3 was going down, and they felt like E3 was basically going to flop. And you look at Gamescom, which gets thousands of people, and you can't even walk into the convention center, for some, which some people told, told me. So, um, the first day of E3 was a disaster. I, I, I will admit that the first day of E3, the actual convention, the conferences and everything were fine. The conf Every conference I went to was terrific. But... The actual convention, it was mobbed. Like the lines were going basically almost out the door at some entrances. It was it was so packed. Like I, like, like last year it wasn't as packed, from what I remember, waiting to get in the convention. And it was like the first day was so bad. Like you couldn't even walk anywhere. Like the second and third day were better, but the first day I don't even know what to say about that. Like. It was, uh, I, I, I just, I, it made me think that there needs to be a day or two just for media for E3 if they're going to keep doing these fan passes. Now, it turns out that there was at least like 50 somewhat thousand people from media and like the industry and everything. Um, and there was about obviously 15,000 fans and that's pretty good. I mean, that's from what I heard. I don't know the exact numbers. I believe there were 68,000 total people, but last year there was like 70,000. So I don't know. The numbers are all crazy, but, um, I just hope I, I, I mean, it's, it's hard to explain if I like the fan passes or not. I mean, I'll say this I, now I used to be a fan, you know, obviously everyone is a fan at some point. Um, I was a fan up until probably 2013 where I started rectify gaming and I wanted to be more involved in the gaming industry and one of the things you want to work towards to is to go to e3 and once last year i found out i was i the rectify game was eligible to go it was so accomplishing like we finally made it we won a trophy or something but that you know that's just a trophy you know that's not saying oh you you know you quit your job it's your full-time job that doesn't mean anything but the thing is like going to e3 is a big deal or it was a big deal now it's basically a microtransaction. you pay 250 bucks you could go into the convention center as a fan pass now um media does get somewhat of a privilege i guess we get a room um we get to book appointments for games so we don't have to wait online online but you have to be lucky enough that they're not booked um so so i mean i i, I just thought i don't know i just I just think if they're going to continue the fan passes, you have to have a day for media. Not Maybe just a day. Maybe It can't be like an hour early going because that's just stupid. Like it's It was just too crowded in there. And from what I heard, uh, they don't know if they're going to continue doing E3 in LA past 2020 or something like that. Please come to National. Um, sorry I'm talking really fast right now. I'm just like... The fan passes, I mean, maybe once in a while it's good. Maybe every year not so much because like I said... It was accomplishing to get into E3, and now the second year when I, I mean, it was awesome to get accepted, don't get me wrong, to do all these different events and meet all different people that I've been talking to online for years and finally get to meet them. Um, you know, it was all awesome and everything, but it's just like, was it as accomplishing going this year compared to last year for me? And I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I wasn't, I'll, say, I'll admit this, I wasn't impressed with myself with the coverage I got to do at E3. So I'll just say that, but... um. You know, I, it's just a it's just a weird topic. There's gonna be some people, obviously, that are not in the press are gonna say fan passes are awesome, but you gotta like I can see it from the media side, and I think it all comes down to what do the executives of like Nintendo and Sony and Microsoft, Ubisoft think about fan passes? Do they really like it? Because last year you could see executives walking around the booth. I mean, you could see them here and there at the convention center, but not as often as you would. 
see them when it was no fan passes at all. What I I mean I I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against if they did fan passes for less than fifteen thousand people. I felt like that was too much. I know they tried to do the Coliseum stuff, but that still wasn't enough to like you know, you know uh, I guess I don't know get them out. I don't know. But that that's one of the topics that's just like iffy on me about E three. I don't know. I mean, I'm always going to go to E3 when I get the chance to. It's just, I don't know. What is E3 turning into? That's the question. So, we'll see what happens next year. I think it'll, something will happen uh, regarding fan passes. Maybe they'll handle it better. I'm not quite sure, but um, let's get into the other topic, okay? This topic is um, its a bit interesting. You know, it's not gaming related. But it is like something we did during do during E3 with all the Lyft drivers and everything. So I'm from New York, as you most of you all know from my fucking New York accent. He, give me some water. No. This topic is about pizza. So Dual Blade, uh, who is also named Nick, who works for the site, he he was coming up to me. I'm like, do you call it a pizza or a pizza pie? I'm like, a pizza pie. Well, he knew someone that was out of the state. And they said they just call it a pizza. I'm like, what? It's a pizza pie. Like, can I order a pie? Like, if you say slice of pizza, that's fine. But like, like it's always a pie. Like, I got to every new, almost every New Yorker, it's a pie. But so we asked every every time we almost every time we went to a lift or like talked to some people at a pizza place. We're like, what do you call it? A pizza pie or a pizza? They were like, just a pizza. And we're like, no, you're wrong. It's a pie. But that's just one of my things. Um, do you call it a pizza or a pizza pie? It's a it's a frustrating topic to some people. I I don't know. Uh, it's just something really stupid. So on to the next. What? Fuck. So this next this next topic is uh, well not really a topic. It's an unboxing. So another thing from E3 is that. Uh, I designed a special E3 controller. They only, they only like did a thousand of them you could do. And it was Xbox Design Lab controller. I've been meaning to do a Design Lab controller forever. I'm like, you know what? This is the time to do it. Because you know what? I'm never going to be... I'm so lazy that um, I need to fucking open this. And I can't open this. It's like, what the fuck? Alright, here it is. So, um, well, I'll get a zoom up in a bit. This fucking controller is so nice. Holy shit. This is, not, this is my first time seeing Like, this isn't scripted. Like, I didn't open it before this. So, I get it. It's not a fake reaction if that's what you're... If that's what you're wondering. Not a fake reaction, okay? I'm all legit. I'm true. And, um... This thing is so nice. Holy... All teal and It's really nice. It's, like... Really, really nice. It's really nice. Sorry. Uh, never mind. But it's, uh... It says, Made at ETH... This is number 334 out of 1,000. Let's take, let's get a good, good. Oh, it's so fucking nice. All right, guys, there's my vlog number six or whatever number it really is. Um, So I hope you guys enjoyed my topics about E3 and about pizza and about my controller. I don't know. Um, Stay tuned for more vlogs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, make sure you comment your thoughts on fan passes, pizza pies, and this hot new controller that's for me, Tyboy17, no one else, okay? So, uh, I'm about to go play some real games on my Xbox One. See you guys next time.